Yeah, I think it. I think the number, the last number I saw was between ninety four and twenty eighteen. There was one hundred and forty five just straight drowning deaths. Yeah, yeah. Not in, not including any like boating accidents, which happens a lot. Yeah, yeah. People go out in the lake, get drunk, and oh, they get absolutely hand- just. Oof. So as a kid, we would go out. Uh, as a kid, you'd go get hammered yeah. on Lake Lanier. Yeah. Um, nice. Yeah, yeah. Super, super fun parents, you know. <laughs> uh, no, but we would go out on Fourth uh, of July, and <laughs> I'd rather you do it here on the Lake Lanier with the ghost than out where I didn't yeah, know where you were. Exactly. <laughs> so, but yeah, we we would go out Sorry. on Fourth of July, and it would just be people strapping their boats together and walking across like each other's pontoon boats just getting hammered and partying on other boats yep. god i hate this you can see that driving over yeah like you literally just see him do it out there in the middle of the lake if i had a boat and i want one but not here <laughs> if i had a boat i would keep it like within a distance i could swim to shore yeah oh yeah and these people are out in the middle well, of this. Yeah. Where you can barely see a shoreline because at, at its widest you can barely see a shoreline. Yeah. Well, and how how deep is the lake? Like we did 100, this 120 feet. 120 feet, I believe. Yeah, I, say, I think it's like we, 117 we it, yeah. or something. It's pretty, it's pretty deep. Um, yeah. Well, well, Jake, you were telling us about a story you've heard. Of it doesn't seem to matter if you're within no. <laughs> swimming distance of the shore. So I work at a in, for the county that's like one of the surrounding. I'm going to go grab some alcohol while you talk yeah. about this. Yep. Oh, we got the cooler. Oh, we got the cooler. I we forgot. Cooler. I was going to go run to the car where the rest of the alcohol is. Oh. Out. <laughs> where am I? It's a good place for it. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're driving down yeah. the road. And... <laughs> no, don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. That's bad. You come on here for I've 15 got, minutes. <laughs> so I've got the Bang Seltzers. I've got Topo Chico Seltzers. And I've got Natter Days in there. Nice. This is terrible. I want to put my microphone over here. You yeah. keep talking. Okay. So one of the uh, rangers, the park rangers for the park I work at, he used to be a cop. Um, one day there there was a kid. He was 18 years old. He was about in probably like waist deep water. So probably not super far off the shore. Yeah. Pretty close, like spitting distance to the shore. And excuse me, he um he just went under. It looked like something pulled him under. Family and friends were freaking out. He was under there for 30 minutes. Um, cops came, and he said at the deepest part where he possibly could have been, like, like uh, you know, in a, in a world where physics and everything mm-hmm. makes sense, like this one outside of Lake Lanier, he would have been in, in no further than, like, in 10 feet deep of water, which yeah. would have been pretty close to the shore. You wouldn't have needed to, you know, get too much to, like, get his body out um, yeah you know it's been 30 minutes they kind of knew he was he had died and they found his body several hundred feet down the shore <laughs> like several Jeez. several hundred feet and it like yeah and like like what what's how gonna grab what him, how? drag him under and then like nothing yeah it's I'll like something what. out of a horror movie ghosts also yeah. This drink from another unnamed energy drink mm-hmm. company that's not as good as Noob. It's yeah, as good as Noob. it's pretty good. So what I what I heard about those was that they don't taste like seltzers. They don't. It doesn't. Yeah. Would you like a taste? Yeah, I'll, I'll get one in a minute here. I'm almost done with my, with my Noob. I mean, no, it just kind of tastes like it's a little bubbly. Like mm-hmm. it, it definitely tastes carbonated, but just straight like t- straight pina colada. Yeah. We're gonna need to drink some water today. I've got a, I've got a feeling. That's all right. I got Topo Chicos in there. Well, they have water down to the the lake and uh, yeah. fill up. Oh yeah, I'll just walk. fill up the I've got, my, I've got my Camelback. <laughs> I brought my Camelback. To got the your lake. life straw on that Camelback. Problem solved. Hey, um, I saw a video of someone filling a Camelback up with gas a couple weeks ago. <sighs> and let Don't me get thirsty. I was gonna say, let me tell you, you better hope that's your only one. Yeah. And if it's not, you better hope you don't get those mixed up. Mmm, tasty gas. Oh, uh, but mm. that several. So him showing up hundreds of feet down down the coast there reminds me of another place with water in Georgia where you can do that, and that is um oh god, what's the name of that park? 
Man, I thought you were about to do like an ad read for a water park. Yeah, yeah oh, what no. the hell's going no, there, on right now? There's a oh, I can't remember and the stupid name of it. Water it's park. just down, it's not Sandy Creek. It's the other one. Hurricane Shoals. Hurricane Shoals. Oh yeah. yeah. There are Hurricane these. There are these like eight foot tunnels. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. That you can just get pulled into. Yeah. Yeah. And you just show up like 200 yards down the river. Yeah. All right, I know we're supposed to be talking about Lake Lanier, but I'd like to talk about Hurricane Shoals for a minute. Scary that water, pl- scary that water. That place is a nightmare. Oh, yeah. I don't even think that one's haunted. I just think it's bad. I think Mother Nature's... I mean, at this point, it's probably haunted because people have also died at Hurricane that's Shoals. Yeah, that's someone, fair, someone, yeah, someone fell in one of those little like holes mm-hmm. and drowned a couple years yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah. It's happened a few times. So you know that, that, that I remember between that and Lake Lanier is that that's full on current running yeah. water. Oh yeah, and it's going pretty you know aggressive. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's pretty. Lake Lanier is just <laughs> it's just, just a lake. sitting there. It's a still lake. Yeah. Um, for Hurricane Shoals is in a very small town. Yeah, <laughs> that I went to elementary school in. Same. Yeah. You want to kiss? Not anymore. <laughs> I know where you grew up. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man, Hurricane Hurricane Shoals. I I went there a couple of years ago for the first time since I was like twelve, and let me tell you, that place is. Uh, I should not have been going there as a child. We had a family reunion there. I think about three years ago, maybe four. I showed up and like, man, like there's no one takes care of it. No, no, not at all. No one take because it's really it's like really pretty. There's nothing like I tricked a bunch of kids into picking up garbage one time there. Ooh, I did not know where that it's was bad. Going. You had to trick them, but that's good. Because uh, there was like a sign for like a, f- fines for littering, right? Mm-hmm. And I told them that if they picked up enough trash, they got to collect on that fine. <laughs> and I got a bunch of kids to go pick up trash. So Look doing you. my part. What a what a good guy! I, now, to for reference, I was like thirteen and they were like seven. Oh, okay. so I just tricked I, other kids. In I thought you met like three weeks ago. No, you would just, just went to Hurricane Shoals. Yeah, I just yeah, that's what I you do. Hang out at parks, <laughs> getting <laughs> and just trick kids into doing into, chores into outside. Doing chores. Go warrior. <laughs> <laughs> I am Captain Planet. <laughs> Man, <laughs> no, you're <for> Cyclops. <laughs> Cyclops. <laughs> Oh, oh man, I lost whatever we were talking about about Lake Lanier. About uh, body down. Oh yeah, shore, you were talking about the the hurricane shoals, tunnels. Bad, 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 bad. Eagle warrior, Levi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good. That's just a very accurate recap. <sighs> Look, this is what we do here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up an article. Yeah, real quick. I yeah. Just, yeah, I just favorited a bunch of pages about. Fantastic, this stuff. Uh, Jake. Will you beer me? Yep. What you want? Uh, just whatever. <laughs> Honestly. I'm gonna hand you the first thing. This is a, this is a natter days. Sounds good. Uh, alright. I'm, I'm gonna give you guys a couple... I'm gonna give you a couple a couple options. You tell me what sparks your fancy real quick. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got two die over weekend on Lake Lanier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ghost boat haunts residents of Lake Lanier. That's strong. That's a good one. And, uh, here, let's see... No, this is fun. No, it's sad. Man, man gets 30 months for Lake Lanier that killed two boys. Lake Lanier <laughs> crash. What you guys thinking? Let's, let's go ghost boat. Yeah, go ghost, ghost boat. boat? <laughs> that seems man, the Ghost lightest. boat was kind of a ringer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll hit all those other ones later. Oh, okay, so good. We're going to cover. It's just a matter of when when we were going to yeah, cover. We should have saved the ghost <laughs> boat. Yeah, you guys started with the lightest one first. <laughs> So this is a uh, this is an article in Forsyth County News. Oh no! From 2015. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, the bad year. Um, and it's a uh, it's all right. So I'm just gonna read the read the headline. Ghost boat haunts residents of Lake Lanier Cove near coming. Just got a picture of a boat, just kind of stuck up on the shore. Yeah, I've seen that boat. I have too. Yeah, it's, I have it's, as well. It's still there. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Spot. Uh, in first line, houseboats on Lake Lanier, not a big deal. Houseboats sitting on its shoreline for years are quite another matter. Yeah. This boat has been stuck since 2010. Um, most of this article is people just complaining about the fact that yeah, the boat's, the boat's there. on the yeah. shore. Yeah. But people also claim to have seen ghosts coming out of that boat into the lake. I'm sure they have. Just just walking off the end of that the boat. The plot of a Scooby-Doo movie. 
<laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Well, a lot. Hey. Who's that ghost? We've talked a lot about Scooby-Doo today. That's because Scooby-Doo is great. Scooby-Doo is pretty good. Yeah, but we don't ever talk about Scooby-Doo. We've talked about Scooby-Doo three times a day. Yeah. In the last hour. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I've been thinking about rewatching the live action movies. Yeah. God, they're so good. Yeah. All right. That's that article. Okay. Now we're going to get into a sad one. Oh, wow. We're going to get sad. <laughs> we're going to get sad. Get the alcohol. I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one. So we've got a, we've got an article from the Gainesville Times. So I guess the point of us telling all these articles is just be like, hey, something weird's happening. There's definitely something weird happening to it. Uh, there's something weird happening to it. And also, all these people keep dying. If it wasn't haunted before, it's going to be haunted yeah. now. Yeah. Well, it's like all the the sayings about, like, you know, the omens and things happening. Like, if some, somebody dies in a house, then it's... Yeah. You know, like a bad omen. It's in every culture ever. But I don't know. People just keep going to Lake Lanier. That omen is just being fed and keeps evolving. Yeah. This, this is a, this is like a guy just peeking one corner with an operator in Valorant, and we just keep running right at him. We'll get him eventually. <laughs> You'd think so. <laughs> yeah. and then, and then we just I'm going to Lake Lanier. Stopped. I'm going to beat this ghost ass. Yeah, Water ghost. And that's the last we saw of Zach. <laughs> there he goes. And at the end of this episode, put in memoriam. <laughs> oh man. Oh, so we've man. got a we've got an article from August twenty eighth, two thousand eleven, uh, where a Buford teenager got into a boating accident, and uh, a man slipped under the water, disappeared. Uh, tracks at all. they they <laughs> dove down to find him as it happened yeah they won't just gone find him. Just, just gone, gone. they won't find them uh no two boats with a combined 15 passengers collided injuring two people and causing the death of trevor jones 14 oh yep uh see prob- when we just probably talk, sh- when probably we just say people die then it's like less personal when yeah. we have a first and last name and an age oh yeah <laughs> yep Sure do. Uh, Jack, a different last name mm-hmm. that we won't give out because I don't want to give these people's names out. Yeah, because they're uh, down the road. 57 <laughs> is the one that was taken under, resurfaced with a broken jaw. What the? F- uh, Caitlin, a 13 year old. <laughs> Wait, so I, it's, it's the oh, ghost of Muhammad did, Ali. Got it. The man that got sucked under did not die. So, like, are. Th- he got sucked under, right? He got sucked he under. Did, he didn't fall. He didn't hit the water hard or anything. Like, no. He just got pulled under and came out with a broken jaw. Yeah, like they the boats hit. He fell off of the boat into the water, came back with a broken jaw. So he was just like on the side and then a, just flipped That's what it sounds like, yep. It's okay. an old-timey boxer that died in that town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, no. he challenged him to f- underwater fisticuffs. <laughs> You know, I, if, if he wins, you know, you get to live. <laughs> he had one of those like now, handlebar mustaches that curls oh at the God. ends and everything. I have developed a personal conspiracy. Oh. Ghost Fight Club. You got yeah. in in by blood, out by blood. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lake Lanier underwater ghost gang. That's probably real. If you want to move on to the the if you want to move on to the afterlife, you gotta bring somebody else down into these dark waters. That would explain a lot. <laughs> That's why it keeps like exponentially yeah. going. I just start drowning over here because I've broken it. <laughs> um, just coughs see. up a so bunch, bunch of water. water. <laughs> that fish that you guys <laughs> killed and brought back to life and ate. Um, oh my gosh, it stayed dead. They probably, probably have a gambling, gambling ring, too. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, no. <laughs> That's what you get. I choked him on spit. <clears throat> Call the ghost police. Um, but me. not for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, so... That this this incident was on. I'm trying to scroll back up, but Google's having a hard time. Um, so this was Saturday night that this happened. Sunday, while they are searching for the the body of the fourteen the fourteen year old, yeah, um, which they found it uh, a little after one 
Sunday afternoon. Let's see, it just told me. Um, far, farther south on the coastline, like within sight of where they found the body, um, William was wade fishing and they like waved at him and then he disappeared under the water in six to eight feet of water. That's a spiteful spirit. Yeah. <laughs> said said he was waist deep down in the water and then just sucked under. Now, I have another prevailing theory that I have heard. Okay. okay. Wait, so, uh, this, this man was found. He did live. Okay. But he did just go deep under the dark water. Now, some of the waste that was dumped into Lake Lanier was, in fact, radioactive. Oh. <clears throat> And there are some record-breaking fish caught on Lake yeah, Lanier. That is true. The catfish. Yeah. Now, I think I think there's probably a catfish out there. Just eating folks? Just yanking monster. people underwater. Catfish monster? And it ate, it ate a drowned body, right? That went in there and now developed a taste for human flesh. <laughs> is this your secret conspiracy? No, but oh. it's similar. Okay. All right. <laughs> Well, do you yeah. want do you want to hit a bit of your Twitter thread? Because I've got I've got I got I got a good one. I got a good article for next, but I well, hit I mean, two in a row. Well, the Twitter thread was just kind of a lot of what we talked about already, kind of. Hey, kitty cat. But beach cat. Yep. Beach. But they they've been hundred pound catfish caught in that yeah. lake. We didn't think about the continuity of the cat. No, the cat's at the beach. Yeah. We brought the cat. Yeah, to the of beach. course. Yeah, the beach is like a litter box for cats. Yeah, they love, they love it. it. What's in a litter box? Sand. He said that. Dead bodies. <laughs> Dead bodies. Well, now the cat has developed a taste for human flesh. I believe it. I believe that this cat has a taste for human flesh. Absolutely. Oh, man. But no, like, the, the Twitter thread was a lot of just the history of things. I know, to dive into a little bit of my crazy uh -huh. that i've thought about it probably it might not even... unrelated to lake lanier no no this is... <laughs> hey, uh, i've been going through some <laughs> i've done some independent research so, in <laughs> well, so how so this was like the the military right the u.s army corps of engineers was yep. the one that you know put everything together i i wouldn't say it'd be far-fetched for like some military experiment to have gone on in the lake. Oh, no. Absolutely. Right? Like, say they yeah. were trying to, like, like do some type of weird aquatic animal stuff, and they've just created a super beast. Right? Like, I, I, like, if, I, don't, know, I don't know if I 100% believe it, but I, in my head, I'm like, yeah, I don't even bat an eye when I think about it. If the news came on tomorrow and there was just some crazy, <laughs> like, actual lake monster in hey, there. Hey, we, we, caught, we caught the creature from the Black Lagoon kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be like... Yeah, that checks out. I'd be like, yes! <laughs> yes, I knew, I knew it! <laughs> it tracks. But, like, you know, something like that. I don't know what it would be, but I wouldn't be, like... Super shocked. Yeah, with, like, you know, the UFO documents. Yeah. You know, and that's... They didn't even give out close to all they have. No. <laughs> We because there's when there's we more coming. through them. Yep, and and still parts of it are still redacted. Yeah, so I would not be in the slightest bit shocked, Casey. Come on, like I wouldn't be shocked at all. So I wasn't expecting so, a call so from that chat. Normally, <laughs> normally, normally the chat this calls one. is this group right here. <laughs> yeah, it's me losing my mind during lunch. I was gonna say on your on your break in your car. <laughs> but yeah, like if. I don't think that's crazy to think at all. Oh no, not at all. I mean, but I just hey, you're you're sitting, you're sitting here recording a podcast about yeah, Bigfoot and shit. But no, we don't think you're crazy for this. We're like lake sharks, or something. All right, like, look. Do you guys remember the movie Shark Night? Yeah. I Shark, shark Night. Oh, I I remember the 3D version came out, but I never saw that. Mm -hmm. Shark Night was the movie where they some kids were just on spring break at a lake. lake and it turned out that some crazy people had released some sharks in the lake and they somehow were living well bull sharks can live in fresh water these yeah. were not bull sharks yeah these are like great white yes species. yeah so <laughs> bull sharks are also the most the most aggressive species of shark is the is the fun part yeah. is that the one that can go in fresh water is the most aggressive <laughs> oh jesus yeah, well, I mean, look. Good thing I'm not going to go in there. Yeah, but yeah, I was, I was like, 
on vacation and I don't remember where we were. We were at some lake in like South Carolina and I saw the trailer for that movie yeah. and they were like like, Oh, let's let's put you on the float behind the behind the boat. From this is the before creators of Piranaconda. Oh, <laughs> this is before my fear of water had become just fully just hard stopping. Yeah. So I was like the day before I was out on the boat. Then like I saw that first trailer and I was mm-hmm. like Nope. Sorry guys. And they're like, well, come like hang out on the pier. And I was like, uh-uh. Nope. <laughs> I'll sit in the house. No. I'll sit in the house and I'll watch you guys have your fun <laughs> and be eaten by sharks. Not going to trick me. Someone has to live to call 911. Yeah. Someone's going to live to write the screenplay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? Because all movies are based on true stories. Yep. I guess everyone. that's where I'm going from yeah. there. Do you remember the comic? Uh sea bear and land shark i remember you telling me about it yes oh my gosh go ahead what if there's lake bears <laughs> you proud of that one no <laughs> no <laughs> and and woodland uh-huh. sharks woodland sharks that'd be crazy and they have a unique partnership <laughs> That one I don't believe, but it's pretty fun. <laughs> that that sounds so old before. See, it's real. That he's, sounds he's like, like a made-for-sci-fi movie. He's like twelve, it's like the Piranaconda and yeah. Sharktopus. Oh and... God, you can't say that. <laughs> I love Sharktopus. <laughs> um, here, let me let me go back to my what. The most recent message in that chat that just called was uh. Mm-hmm. Something they, about butt cheeks, yeah. Well, the last message I see is, there's your drink toilet pick. Oh, yeah. Casey the Casey made that phone call uh, on accident while he was on the toilet at the beach drunk. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. I guess it is 6 p.m. For some reason, I thought it was like... 5 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> I thought it was like 11 a.m. And I was like, man. Just yeah, but look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this is... Yeah, we do this, but not you. <laughs> I guess we are also at the beach drunk, yeah. aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Yes, we are. Um, so, uh... Oh, man. Uh, you guys want to know how many cemeteries yes. they estimate were underneath there? Yeah. Well, oh, what? 700 families, right? Uh-huh. Got displaced in that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a lot of cemeteries. <laughs> I think it's just one giant one now. <laughs> 20. Ooh. 20, 20 oh, cemeteries. That's some, that's some bad juju. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Uh, 2011 alone, when this article was posted, 20 deaths on the lake. Jeez. In probably a three month span. Four months, maybe. Because it takes a while for that lake to heat up. It stays cold. It's, it's a warm-up period. You know, it gets one. <laughs> then, it, then it starts It starts. It's expounding. just playing deathmatch. Yeah. It, it's limbered up. Then it's up two. And... Then it's four. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> 69. 69 of them. That's <laughs> Chad's yeah. guess. Oh. All right. Let's. I want to make sure I don't. Uh, I. I bet. I guess we should go ahead and get the most recent ones out of the way, huh? Yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, this week, a 19-year-old was pulled from Lake Lanier. Pulled Friday, yep. so yesterday. Mm-hmm. Uh, reported around 7:30 Thursday night, or yeah, Thursday night. Uh, a 19-year-old <clears throat> that I can't pronounce his first name if I wanted to. Was trying to swim across the cove, got tired, and couldn't make it. Uh, drowned in 22 feet of water. Now, the weird thing is his time of death was reported at 9 p.m. Mm-hmm. Someone reported him as drowned at 7.30. 7.30, someone made a call saying, hey, someone drowned in the lake. Yeah. He didn't die until 9 p.m., they think. Which I know, like with water stuff, it's hard to tell. Yeah, but it, within twenty four hours, I'm gonna. I think they're pretty good at telling. You know, you would think so. This has turned into another. I've turned this man's unfortunate death into a conspiracy. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's something going on at that lake. Hydrate. I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Mm, so doesn't much. taste quite as good as a noob energy drink. It doesn't. <laughs> it's also making me feel bad. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh no, dude. So uh earlier in earlier this year in April. Yeah. What? There's he a- said to wait. Yeah. Uh, in April, a uh, 20-year-old South Carolina man drowned while swimming. And um, if I remember correctly, I don't think that they found him. That doesn't surprise me in the slightest. No. Yep. Uh, so he he rented it with he rented a pontoon with two others and attempted to go swimming, but um, apparently the boat's gone. Because they rescued the other two that were on there, but they have not, they have not found, uh, they've not found him. Huh. They won't. No. No. Not for years. He has unfortunately turned into another statistic on how bad that lake is. Yeah. That's so evil, man. It's <laughs> yeah. so bad. Like, it, in movies and stuff, there's always like, all right, this is a lair. This, you know, this person, this villain lives in this lake, and it's just all evil. There's someone. It's Dungeons and Dragons, not movies. Same thing. <laughs> Look, man. But yeah, no, I get where you're going. It's like, it, yeah, like they just one place exudes all this evil. It's Lake Lanier. Yeah, Lake Lanier is tr- Lake is Lanier. The real Lake one. Lanier holds all the evil for the South. That's why you get the southern kindness going on. Uh, with the... I think there's something else that holds all the hate. I mean, in a physical place, not oh, okay, like a... right. <laughs> <laughs> not like you know. Ooh, that's a hot. Everything, take. <laughs> everything else. It's <laughs> a surprising hot take from we <laughs> The only thing wrong with the South is this bad no, lake. That's not what I'm saying. Levi, 2021. But, probably. <laughs> Let me tweet that one out and then delete it so it doesn't affect anyone's career. <laughs> I had to do that last night. Yeah. Yeah, novice, novice said something and then I ramped up what he said and quoted it to him. And then Nick was like, hey. Hey, don't. <laughs> We're looking for <laughs> looking for teams to play for. But technically, what Nava said was not bad. No, listen, it's fine. In we can drop sense. it. We can, we can move on. Yeah, we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> I'd like to. Hey, guys, welcome to the Zach Talks About Twitter Things That Shouldn't Have Happened. Welcome section. to the Novice Shame Podcast. Oh, God. So the thing, the thing with this lake that always bugged me is, like, now knowing, like, its history mm-hmm. and what's going on there... Um, my parents and grandparents, because my grandparents owned a house on the lake, mm-hmm. and they used to just let us go down there by ourselves. Yep. Mm-hmm. To the to the murder lake. About, it's because they didn't care about you. Well, obviously, clearly <laughs> they didn't like you. Clearly, I they're mean like, that's obvious like, now. Especially they're like, like, please, <laughs> evil lake, take this dumb dumb boy. <laughs> also, at one point, we found, um, I, and I have pictures of it. There's like. And I, I've, looked it, I've looked it up. There's uh, like a there's like a gelatinous clear uh, thing that would wash up on the shore. They're like blobs. It's former humans. Former. I, I th- Levi, I feel like this is something that you should have taken to <laughs> some scientific community. No, it's fine. I go, I like I looked up to see what it was. I just don't remember what it is what now. Is and I'm pretty sure yeah. I had a noob can on top of uh, Roswell. I uh, forgot to introduce Roswell. We did. Roswell's here. His his eyes are keyed out. <laughs> they sure are. Aren't they? <laughs> Wait, why are they keyed out? I don't know. I, magic. <laughs> the evil, evil lake magic. Um, but yeah, it's just like it's just like a clear goo the size of like Roswell's head. That was like it was like a firm. Okay, you're saying you're saying goo and gelatinous and then firm. Yeah, well that's the problem, wasn't it? <laughs> Do you just mean slimy? No, it was it it was like wet from like being in the water, but it wasn't like particularly It was like wet slimy. on the inside. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was emotionally wet. I don't know. I don't really know. <laughs> Let me see. I have stupid it's a stupid show. It is. This ends part two of our Lake Lanier season finale. Uh, be sure to look out next week for, I believe, what will be the final part.